A lots of questions, but few answers for parents tonight about the futures of hundreds of students in Orange Beach. They'll have to change schools when Gulf Shores splits into its own district next year, but the new school in Orange Beach will not be ready until 2020 at the earliest. NBC 15's Corey Pippen attended the public meeting. Only problem, neither the superintendent nor anyone from the school board was there to explain. The overall impact the Gulf Shore split from Baldwin County schools will have on Orange Beach students is still up in the air. Tonight, parents are taking the initiative to get as many answers as possible. Tonight, Orange Beach students remain in limbo as Gulf Shores continues its path toward an independent school system next fall. The biggest question remains, what will happen to Orange Beach Middle and High School students currently on Gulf Shores campuses? But there are plenty of others with less than a year to go. It would be nice to know sooner rather than later. Concerned parents gathered at the Orange Beach Community Center tonight speaking with Mayor Tony Kennan and other school officials and making a list of their concerns, which include curriculum, athletics, and extracurricular activities, as well as a planned portable village on the elementary school campus to hold 7th through 10th graders. What measures are we taking security-wise on portables? Most answers lie in the outcome of a negotiation agreement between Gulf Shores and the Baldwin County Board of Education now in the hands of the state superintendent. What we're trying to do is um, gather information, angst, concerns uh, from the parents, put those in a package and take them to the county. This has gone on so long, the anxiety of the parents, we don't know where our kids are going to be. They got to make plans and it's time for a decision to be made. Kennan says since the planned Orange Beach Joint Middle and High School has been delayed until 2020, it's even more important for parents to know where they stand. We're in limbo. No one likes to live life in limbo, and it's time to move on. There's no reason that there should be a spitting match going on about children. School officials say a decision by the state superintendent on Orange Beach students is expected by next Friday. In Orange Beach, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15.